hello everyone in today's video we will be talking about one of the concepts of statistical physics that is negative temperatures so why are we using this temperature as negative so we will be seeing in this video let's assume we have a two level system of magnetic dipoles dipoles having energy e1 and e2 and this energy gap between two levels is delta e if we put these magnetic dipoles in the presence of external magnetic field magnetic field p so we have two types of dipoles magnetic dipoles that is one which is parallel to b the other is anti parallel to b so here theta is zero because these are parallel to magnetic field and here the theta is 180 so we have to find the energy that is minus mu b for mu is magnetic dipole moment so here mu is magnetic dipole movement for that particular dipole and then this is mu b because we know the expression for energy is minus mu dot p so if this is mu b cos theta if we put theta equal to 0 for this so our energy comes out to be minus mu b and similarly when we put 180 degree then our minus minus cancels out so e2 becomes mu b so this is the energy for these two levels so moving on to next so our delta e becomes e2 minus e1 this is mu b minus minus of mu b that is 2 mu b so moving on to the next part so we have to find out when we are increasing the energies how our entropy is behaving so we have to check out so let's firstly you have to find out the microstates we have to find out the microstates because we know the expression for entropy in the terms of microstates where omega is the number of microstates so if we assume that e1 and e2 there are n1 and n2 dipoles in the respective energy levels so if we take total number of total dipoles is capital n and if we have n1 is equal to n we are assuming that in the e1 energy level we have n number of dipoles small n so n2 becomes total minus n n minus n so this are this is our number of dipoles in each energy levels we either having the spin up and spin down these are indistinguishable so this is our the number of microstates so number of microstates is equal to n factorial the total number of dipoles divided by the all indistinguishable dipoles present in e1 and e2 separately so we are just dividing those factor so let's find out the entropy now so s becomes kb log n n factorial over n factorial n minus n factorial 
just have to use the sterling formula that is log in n factorial can be written as l log in n minus n we just have to solve all these things so let's quickly solve all these things n factorial minus log n it's simple maths and minus n factorial so we are using the sterling formula l log in n minus n this n n minus minus then it goes to plus and then n minus n minus minus plus n this is log in n minus n minus minus plus n minus n our expression for entropy comes out to be like this so we can cancel n from n this plus n minus n so we get s is equal to kb n log n minus n small log n and then minus n minus n log n minus n so this is the expression for entropy for finding the maximum entropy we have to like differentiate this entropy expression with respect to small n for maximum so how many dipoles should present in the respective energy levels so that entropy is maximum at that particular arrangement so when we differentiate this del n by del this kb n log n minus n log n then minus n minus n log n n minus n so we have to differentiate this so this whole term goes to zero so we can take out kb outside this whole first term goes to zero and then when we differentiate these two functions first we have to differentiate n so simple you can differentiate it simply differentiating all this our expression comes out to be log in n minus n 1 over n then this differentiation of this is minus 1 log in n minus n then it's minus n minus n over 1 n minus n and differentiation of this is minus 1 so simplify our expression as minus log in n minus 1 minus minus plus log n minus n and this is minus minus plus 1 so this plus minus n cancels out so our expression comes out to be kb log in n minus n over n so this is our differential we have to put this equivalent to zero so this log term comes out to be zero when this the inner terms becomes equal to one so it's n minus n is equal to so our n comes out to be n by half so the number of typos should be half the half of the total so when this arrangement is there in the system the entropy is maximum so 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 this is the curve so let's see in this graph of figure a where we are plotting entropy versus energy when energy like when the n1 becomes n half and n2 becomes n half what is the energy in that particular scenario on this at the that particular arrangement net energy we have, we have to find out the net energy so so we in order to find out so 
we just have to n1 number of dipoles into energy of first level and number of dipoles in second level and multiplied with energy so n1 is n by 2 this mu b minus mu b and this this is n by 2 plus mu b so this whole cancels out because there's two levels so there's up spin and down spins so they both one is of minus and this net energy becomes zero so this is the point where e becomes zero and s becomes max s max so this is the arrangement when n1 is n half and n2 is n half so the half half spin ups and spin down particles are present in the both energy levels so when all the particles that net energy is total number of dipoles and that is equal to n all are in even energy level then our net energy becomes n mu b similarly this is the first case in the second case when all the energy all the dipoles are in e2 energy level so our energy becomes n into mu times v that's the energy of the second level so this is the e max this is e min so at or in both the cases the entropy is zero we can find out when we put these values like so when all the particles like uh, assembled in one particular energy level the disorderness comes to zero so randomness goes to zero so end of this value whole value of log like there comes only one microstate so our entropy becomes zero so so our curves come like to comes like this and we know tds is equal to d so 1 by t is like inverse when we find del s by del e how the entropy is changing with energy so we can find this relation with temperature as del s by del e the slope is decreasing so our temperature is also negative in this scenario when our entropy is increasing is decreasing with increasing energy and in left side del s by del e as a moving slope as a raising slope so our temperature is positive for the this half so we can these are the positive temperature when entropy grows this, so this is a positive t is more than zero so this is t is more than zero for the raised rising part when entropy is rising with the rise in the energy and similarly we can see when the entropy is falling with energy so this is the negative temperature so as we move towards the negative temperature the system becomes less because the entropy is decreasing so our system is becoming less disordered so not uh, as the energy increases so we are seeing the inverse phenomena where entropy like we usually see in our day to day life when energy increases the disorderness increases but in here as we increase the energy the disorderness is decreasing so that's why our we are terming this area this region of of falling entropy as negative temperature when temperature is like more or less at zero kelvin absolute zero closer to this as we are increasing the energy our temperature becomes positive infinity and as the energy increases let's see in this temperature energy curve so we are seeing this curve 
so as energy increases the temperature increases we are seeing the raising slope so this is a positive relation we know that and reaches a maximum infinity so we are seeing the infinity the temperature is going to infinity as we are further raising the energy and then as we further infinitesimally increase the energy further our temperature abruptly changes to so our temperature abruptly changes to minus of infinity and as we can see as we further increasing the energy our temperature is approaching zero zero minus zero kelvin so it's approaching the minus zero kelvin so this means when our system is in the negative temperature zone the system is more hotter than infinite positive temperature so our system is more hot in negative temperatures as compared to the positive temperatures because the energy is high in the negative temperature so we are having the hotter system so that's the concept of negative temperature if you have any doubts related to this topic you can ask me in the comment box and for the today's session and thank you for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel